Hey booktube, sorry about the mess, I will I will have a proper setup eventually. Uh but yes, that that is not exactly a clickbait title. I, I did I did uh I did do four book hauls this month. <laughs> yeah, because that's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? You're supposed to put your shame up on the internet for everyone to see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh yeah four four book hauls um uh, armchair books uh some ebook stuff that were that I got for free because we were going on holiday and I didn't want to take up space in the cases uh even though I I completely filled my my own bag with books to take with me uh then there was like the Lisbon book hauls there was three bookshops there that I went to and Edinburgh Book Festival. So yeah, I have been a busy person and I have also become a poor person. <laughs> yeah, this this is uh this was a mistake. But uh I hope at least there's something amusing in this for you guys. Um Yep, so let's get started. Uh, I have to warn you though, like secondhand bookstores, the things I pick up at secondhand bookstores are just, I don't know, just something happens to me in secondhand bookstores. Um, right, so the first is, oops, the first is Xena Warrior Princess, uh, which was my life from like four to six years old, that and Buffy and Mutant X and other shows that I shouldn't have been watching. Um, so I, I didn't know there were books about this and I'm so excited. It has a seer and a mage and something about Cerberus. So, you know, hopefully Hades will show up. I, I really like, I really am happy with this one. I haven't gotten to it yet, but you know, hopefully in the next week. Uh, uh, do I have any other normal ones? Oh yeah, yep. Uh, I have Scottish Cats, uh, an anthology of poems. I, d I have read this one. Uh, it's good, I like it, but um, like warning for poems about cats being murdered, which I did not know about and could have, you know, been doing with. And uh, Gaelic Ghosts, Tales of the Supernatural from Scotland. I really, I love folklore and folk tales and all that. And it's such a pretty cover, isn't it? It's just the birds, which are kind of creepy as well. So I really am looking forward to getting to this one. <laughs> uh, I think it's all weird stuff now. Uh, yep, so we have uh, the Mammoth Book of all t Fantasy All-Time Greats with like uh, Lord Dunsany and Edgar Allan Poe and Ursula K. Le Guin. Uh, I don't know if you can see those authors, uh, but those ones. And I'm I'm hoping it'll be interesting. I've been trying to expand my uh, fantasy stuff. Uh, I know, and now it now it's the weird stuff. Now it's uh, penguins. Uh, the penguin. Courier's Guide, and I, I don't know why I picked this up. It just, this is just what happens when I go to secondhand bookstores. Something happens. Uh, this is a comic about Perth. I don't know why I bought this one either. I, I don't know where Perth is and I don't have any intentions of going. Uh, and it's, it's the Scottish Perth, by the way, not, not the other one. I don't know why I bought this. Oh boy. Oh, wait, wait. Early China Social and Cultural History. I love history books. I'm particularly uh, interested in Chinese history at the moment. They are, they tend to be really expensive, but this was £9, so I'm delighted. It's also by a Chinese author, and I, I just, I can't find books about Chinese history by Chinese authors you know, that, that aren't, you know, funny money. Uh, so I'm happy with that one. 
Uh, I also got this, uh, Monsters and Grotesques in Medieval Manuscripts. It's quite a short one, it's a fun read. It, um, it unfortunately did not have, you know, an explanation for the penis tree, which I was hoping it was going to have, but I guess that's not a monster or a grotesque, it's just monstrous and grotesque. But, you know, it's really interesting if, if you know, have, if you get the chance to and it interests you, definitely have a look at this one. Uh, the monsters are quite funny, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, and this, uh, the prehistoric rock art of Galloway and the Isle of Man, another one that is really weird. Uh, but there was a book I, I read a while ago, I've mentioned it, called The Thirteen Stones, and it had something that I think is rock art in it. So, you know, it's a weird pick, but it's, this one actually has, this one makes sense. And uh, the last two are Folk Song in England. And I like folk music, I just, um, it's, it's, uh, this one's going to be waiting a while, I'll, I'd say, before I get to it. <laughs> Very comprehensive, though, I'm, I'm guessing. And, uh, oof. the last one, another really heavy one, is The Oxford History of the Classical World which again was really nice and cheap. So <laughs> this is another one that's going to have to wait because I just, yeah, not getting to that anytime soon. Uh, right, and that was the first book haul. The second book haul was uh, the ebooks and stuff. Oh wait, no, there were other books I got around this time as well. I got this as well. Oops, sorry. I got seven Artemis Fowl books for uh, 10 pounds and you know it was one of my favorite series and I don't think I ever finished it and as but ugly as these covers are you know it's it's a it's a, it's too good a price for me to have passed up and uh yep that <laughs> so I got those ones I also uh got whoops this which I loved. It's one of the best anthologies I've read, in my opinion. But, you know, I just love, like, retellings. And there were three three Chinese stories in this one, uh, which is a little excessive, I think, for a showcase anthology. Uh, so much, you know, so much focus on China. But I loved them all. I loved all of them, so... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really complaining about that. And uh, the last one was a gift for, well, I think my parents got me this one as a congratulations for passing your exam, and I took it as a pity present, uh, but that's The Adams Family and Evolution, which is really nice. You get, you get um, comic strips and things in it, and you get um, character profiles throughout different iterations and stuff. So this was really nice. Uh, thank you, Mum and Dad, for that. Uh, and yeah, then then it was the free books. Oh wow! Um, the first one was uh, piety dragon poems, and I'm sorry because I can't see who who wrote it because I've deleted it. I I didn't really like that one much. Um, then there's Hen and Chick by Tristan J. Tarawater. I bought, no I didn't buy, sorry, it's free, I didn't buy it. I got uh, episode one, which is chapter one, and it's a really good start, and I, I will be checking out the rest. Uh, but that's a weird title, don't you think? It's, it's not an episode, it's a chapter. Um, I also got the DC Essentials catalogue, and then I deleted that. <laughs> because it was, it was kind of one of those like camp openings, like the Riddler kidnapped them and the answer was the DC Essentials Catalog 2018 and I'm sorry, I just, that, that is just, I couldn't, I couldn't deal with it after that. Um, I also got Raining Men and Corpses by Anne Artan, which was really good. I didn't, I don't really like crime or mysteries that much, it's more, I've kind of always thought of as like the daytime television fodder but it's really good I really enjoyed it 
I really like the main character. I would say though, if you you're more into that kind of genre for the crime, this is like a big focus on her and the people in her life. So maybe not for you, but it you know it's free, so <laughs> give it a go if it sounds interesting. Uh, the other three were The Sunken by S. C. Green, which is steampunk and it also mentioned things that sounded like a zombie and dinosaurs I think so I'm looking forward to that I really I really like zombies and dinosaurs so <laughs> um yeah and the last two were The Zombie Chronicles by Chrissy Peebles I, I do really love zombies I, I like it more for like the human aspect but and I think, I think this is going to be one of those ones that focuses on the people. And the last one was Blades of Magic by Tara Eden. I think that's how you pronounce it. Which sounds really interesting. It sounds, I mean, it sounds interesting. It's kind of your f standard fantasy fare. But the cover really sold it to me. So <laughs> I'm hoping it's going to be good. Uh, right, what was the third one? The third book haul. third book haul was the Lisbon book hauls. Uh, and that was the Burton Bookstore, which was the oldest bookstore in the world. Bookstore Bivar, which was like my favourite of the three. And if you if you're in Lisbon, I would definitely recommend that you check it out. And um, the last one was in the LX Factory. And if you go there, I would suggest going on a Sunday because there's a flea market. And I got like these earrings, which are really nice. I don't know if you can see them. They're elephants, because like, of course they're elephants. Um, the first one, Bertrand, the Bertrand bookstore, uh, I got these, which are really nice notebooks. There was also an elephant one, but that was 22 euros, and these are so expensive. I don't, I don't know why they're so expensive. Um, but I also, I also got uh, the red-haired woman, which... You know, I've, I've got another book by this author, but it's about 500 pages, so I haven't started it. It's literature, this one. It is about uh, a well digger, and he meets this lady, and apparently she later becomes important. Um, or something like that. <laughs> something like that. Uh, and then Little Fires Everywhere. Uh, but I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that. I think it's Celeste Ng, is it? I don't... I'm not sure. Uh, which is another kind of literary one. I don't really know why I bought so many literary ones. It's not my favourite genre. But uh, there you go. Um, Alright. <laughs> uh, I have studied French for 11 years. You should, you should know that. And I, I can't read Babar. But I bought uh, Leo Mysterious by Jules Verne in French um, and I can't read it but it's very pretty so that was a good book haul that, that shop that was really worthwhile going to um, <laughs> yep that was that was a great book haul um, yeah the second one was uh, books, Bookshop Bavar actually I think it was Bookshop Bavar uh, and I got this one, another kind of literary one, novel without a name. Because uh, I've been trying to read more uh, worldly. So I got this one. Uh, I'm going to have to be in the mood for reading that one though because I don't really like war stories. Um, the Night Watch, which is Russian fantasy. Uh, I'm really kind of hoping that going to be a bit more interesting than just your standard fantasy fair. Yeah, it is Russian. It is urban fantasy. Part of a trilogy and it's kind of like the guy is an agent and he's on like patrolling the streets and stuff and I really like that kind of idea. Uh, and then another kind of book that I don't like, a biography. <laughs> wow. Uh, I've got three books by Zhang Shang and I haven't read any of them. Well, this is the third one, by the way. I uh, have not read any of them. 
And then I finished up with these two by Diana Wynne Jones from the worlds of Chris and Nancy, Charmed Life and The Lives of Christopher Chant. And this is really, this is really cool, this. Um, they don't both do that, unfortunately. But is this, is this the second book or the fourth book? Because I've, I've seen sources say that it's the second and sources that say it's the fourth. That's kind of confusing. Uh, and then the last place, the LX Factory, I got the Pocket Roomie because, you know, poetry as well. I've been meaning to, you know, read Rumi because he's, you know, that well known and I thought, why not? Might just, might as well just pick it up there. Uh, the Tragedy of Street Flowers because, of course, I have to pick up a Portuguese author. I should at least read, you know, some Portuguese authors while I'm there. I didn't start any of them. Uh, it's another kind of literary fiction one. It's a love story, I think. So maybe that'll make the literary stuff more bearable. Um, Lisbon Poets, a, a, a bilingual collection of poetry. Uh, so that's going to be good. I love bilingual books. Uh, mm. <laughs> though I don't think I'll ever read the Portuguese side. I, I just cannot learn Portuguese. It just will not stick in my brain. And I assume I bought this one in Lisbon. Well, no, I, I know I bought it in Lisbon. I just don't know where I bought it from. I don't remember buying it. Uh, but it's about murders and there's a ghost. So it should be interesting. I, I honestly have no memory of this at all. At all. <laughs> uh, and then, you know, the fourth book haul, uh, Edinburgh. And uh, I got another bilingual poetry anthology, and I cannot tell you what this is, but I will be learning Gaelic at some point. I don't know if it'll be as good as, um, what's it called? Right, I don't know if it'll be as good as this. Which of you want, like, this is a really good poetry collection. It's called Him to a Young Demon. Uh, uh, like I really, for for the Edinburgh Book Festival, I really went with the uh, kind of foreign authors because, you know, I really want to support that. But also, like, I really didn't have much money left at that point. Uh, so I got The Stolen Bicycle by... Uh, is that an L or a Y? Okay, I don't know, but it's called The Stolen Bicycle. It is a Man Booker International Prize winner. Uh, hopefully that will be enough information to find out more about it if you want. Um, yeah, I think this is also about a murder. I think so. Uh, or someone going missing or something like that. I don't know, it's just a really pretty cover. And the back, the back as well. It looks like an elephant, right? Like, that's not just me, it looks like an elephant, right? <laughs> um, uh, I also got the guest cat. And I realise like I might, I might seem like a cat person. I like cats. I'm more of a dog person. Uh, but I've read another cat book, the the Travelling Cat, which is also a Japanese one. And I'm hoping that it's kind of going to be like that, but uh, not going to leave me in tears because I really like that one. So hopefully this will be something like similar, or at least similar like in style to the other one covers are similar. Um, oh, right, China, history and objects, because history and also because I like stuff and <laughs> learning history through stuff just 
you know, it just seems to be like a nice way to learn about history. And again, you know, like, not a Chinese person, you know, I don't know why it's really hard to find that. And it's £30. This was £30, which is actually quite cheap for the history books that I've been looking at. Maybe I just don't know where to find history books. Uh, because they're always so expensive, the ones that I look at. Oops. Uh, and I got Han Can, Can, the white book. I don't know what this is about either, but I really like The Vegetarian. That was a really weird book. So I'm hoping I'll like this one as well. Uh, and then I, the last two I bought were uh, The Inquisition and The Battle Mage by Karen. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, but I, yeah, I've not got the first book, so you know, I have to buy. <laughs> That's another book I have to buy. Uh, but, um, shout out to the person who left like a three pounds off voucher in this one, in the second one. That was really nice to find. Um, thank you for that. I can really be doing with, you know, the money off. Uh, also, uh, I got like a five pounds off voucher after spending so much and I left that in a book so if someone got that I hope you enjoyed that. And those were the books I bought at the festival. Um, but someone was handing out free books at the end uh, and that was this one by Rich Shapiro. It's called Rin, Tongue and Dorner, a novel. and. This just sounds, this, I don't know, what? This just sounds absolutely, I, can, I can't even think of the word. It's just really, really weird. Like, no, I can't say that. <laughs> I'm trying not to swear on this channel. It's just really weird. Uh, also, my mum read out of it from it and it sounded like a porno. And that was really awkward, uh, but it's a free book and I'm gonna keep it and I'm gonna have a look at it. I don't really trust free books, I'm gonna be honest. If you can't sell it, my, my thoughts are, is there, some, is there something wrong? Is there like something controversial that you couldn't sell the book? I mean, I don't know, it might just be the guy trying to do something nice, but I don't know. Free books kind of make me... But I will absolutely take you up on a free book. Uh, right, so that is my uh, hoard, my shame. Uh, hopefully this has been an interesting video. I still don't know how to sign off, so uh, <laughs> bye.